<clears throat> hey, what's going on? I don't know what to call this one. Either mental illness <laughs> or flip floppers or winos or Jamaican winos. But I can say this those who follow those who are clearly sick. Like Aliyah Muhammad said, and other people said, you got to be sick yourselves because that's the only way it can go down. Some people can get fooled, but for the most part, when they can't stay away, it means either they're funneling them some money or they're sick. In this guy's case, and I'm talking in general, but specifically as well. And if you feel that it fits you, then you must be the one. Now, so I'm trying not to get specific because I don't really want to go with a back and forth shit because, you know, I don't really care for their type of shit on my channel. Because it's all a waste of time and it's all juvenile and infantile. So, but sometimes you got to address it and settle some ass sometimes. You know what I mean? You already laid one out. <clears throat> He's on life support. Crawling back from the grave. Now we got his partner. How far in partnership they go, who knows? But I do know that the man is definitely giving the man hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. And the question is why? What would make a man tell a man he's only seen online just want to give a man about a thousand dollars? Maybe he liked what he saw. Or maybe he realized, you know what? This man is a wino. A weed head. And a coke addict. And he stays high all day. Every day. The man is deranged. Just like this guy. Probably more so. <laughs> be honest with you. He's one of those people who stays high so much that he's out of his fucking mind. And seems fucking harmless because he's out of his fucking mind. Don't dump all, all day. Now even makes videos. Like, oh, oh, let me get high real quick. Showing himself getting high. I said, God damn. You know, this guy is sick. He keeps changing the name of his channels like a maniac. He makes videos. And then deletes the videos right after he makes them. What's the point in even making a video if you're going to do that? What's the point in having a channel unless you just want to comment on people's uh, channels? But if you're going to make a video, keep the shit up. If you don't like what the fuck is said, then don't say it. <laughs> I mean, just, how, how simple can it get? But... This guy, yeah, I, I did touch on his name, but I didn't really disrespect, so to speak. But I was just being honest. Because people talk about people flip-flopping. This guy is the primary flip-flopper. And I, I just said I don't like his style. Because I don't. I, I, I mean, there are people that you don't trust and there are people who are jackasses but this guy is just a guy whose style I just don't like I don't like the way he does business you know one way you know at his age 50 years old one way it's he's uh cool with you hating on somebody else then hating on somebody else not cool with you and then cool with somebody else you talk about flip floppers that's the flip flopper you know they try to play these fucking Middle school games are trying to set people up 
In this case, I ain't really talking about me. But anybody he comes across. The only one he seems to be loyal to seems to be the one who pays. Because like I said, people need their drugs. And if somebody's supplying you with some drug money, shit, you ain't gonna leave. It's just like a cat when you offer them some food the first time. Then you uh, take the bowl away, close the door. Motherfuckers come back the next day. <laughs> they want more. That's why they stick around. But once you give them the hint, you ain't getting no more. Then they leave and try to find somebody else to sucker. Let me see if I'm covering this mic. Okay, I guess I'm not. I don't like the sound quality on this phone. I don't know why it comes out like this. But anyway. Uh, I can't believe the last phone I had, had had high quality sound. I don't know what's up with this one. Same brand. This is supposed to be better. <clears throat> but anyway. probably They probably put too many damn mics on this. That's probably what it is. Or maybe it's the one in the back. I don't know which one is the primary. But right now I'm holding the phone in the back. So maybe we'll see if that sounded better or not. I don't know. For the next time. But. Yeah these people. I, I, don't, I don't like this guy's style. It's a style that. Is always looking for the setup, The trick. The phoniness. That's why if people notice. I, I kind of. Don't really deal. With people like that. I don't really come at them. But I just. I'm just like. I don't want to deal with people like that. And, uh, you know, this person's done this to other people, too. Smile in your face, talk shit behind your back. Say they don't like somebody else, and then next thing you know, they're always chilling with them. That kind of thing. As long as the man, and the man, the manipulator, the handler knows, <clears throat> as long as I supply this man with uh, liquor and weed and cocaine money, He'll always be on my side or I'll cut him off. And you know how addicts are. <laughs> they, if they got somebody giving them some goddamn money to supply their needs, you know they sticking with them. And that's just how it is. But, you know, it's a damn shame, you know, uh, uh, these people... And the other thing is, the other guy he was talking to, you know the, the, the person. No need to mention his name. Uh, matter of fact, it's funny when a, a guy will come on somebody else's live. The man has a total breakdown. He can't put his words together. He can't collect his thoughts. He repeats himself as he does in all his videos. And everything he says. He doesn't sound half as intellectual <laughs> as he appears to be or as he tries to be when he's on somebody else's uh, show. Which is funny. I noticed the only time he sounds halfway intellectual is when he's dissing people. Or having lofty dreams about some stuff that he will never initiate. That's why the host kept asking him about when you going to get to it. Just like I was saying, when you going to get to it. But the host may not know that the guy already said, I'm not going anywhere. And I'm waiting for you to get to it. And then I might get to it. That negates the whole process right there. After that, there's nothing else that needs to be said. So he needs to stop with the bullshit. But him and this wino, you know, they get together and they have their uh, little buddy get together. I don't know, maybe the wino might be bullish, blown smoke up his ass just to get his uh, drug money. Whatever. I mean, I guess he has to do what he has to do. It's a shame that people got to be high and liquored up all day, but that's all I know. It's not something I'm into. 
Not something I care about, and it's not something I'll ever support. But that's what he wants to do. That's his life. He chose it. If he wants to choose to stop it, he can choose to stop it. But I think he pretty much made it clear that he's going to keep it going. And if he can get more cocaine, piles of coke like Scarface and, and, and weed and liquor, he'll take it. So let that guy keep on uh, paying him. That's fine. But anyway, when this other guy is not on people's panels and the pressure's not on, he sounds very comfortable when he makes his own videos, if you notice that. When he's on somebody else's panel, panel, he can't even come up with the words. And he'll try to repeat shit and come out with buzz phrases and shit that he thinks will trick the people. But the people aren't that dumb. And then when he goes back to his own channels... He tries to sound intellectual. This is what we need to do if we just did this. Blah, blah, blah. He sounds like my man. I think this is probably where he got his uh, style from. Aside from the Nation of Islam. Oh, that's another thing, too. I was listening to that video, and he said... She thought I was in the Nation of Islam. I was never in that. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that but I think my man got his speaking style from Nation of Islam and my man Cyrus from the Warriors because that's what he sounds like if only you can count can you count suckers can you count you know all that buzzword excitement type shit you know <laughs> Can you dig it? You know, I didn't want to say that because that's so, you know, everybody always says that. But uh, that's where he gets all that speech patterns from. And for people just coming on, they'll think, oh, man, this guy sounds, you know, this man sounds like he's about something. Until you realize, like everybody else realized, one by one. Some people, they, they're turned off by 10 years in the loony band. That, that, that turns them off right away. Hell, even if he did one year, that turns them off right away. Let alone 10. So, it's funny. Oh, no. They're back at it again. <laughs> As I say this, I think. Anyway, I'll find out later. But, um, it's funny how, you know, he'll sound like he's about something but once you start realizing this man contradicts himself every time he speaks and as he's speaking who can only the nuts can deal with this and I noticed that like Aaliyah was saying no matter what time of day or night that this guy's on his so-called uh, deacons are always there do they have a life or are they even alive <laughs> something ain't right maybe his his white roommate might be the, the the deacons that might be what's going on but anyway i think it's funny when he speaks on his own he, he sounds confident because he knows he, he can speak that bullshit without people trying to scrutinize that's why see then when he was on that lady show since she was on his ass kissing his ass he felt comfortable see when the unexpected comes the man is a total wreck he couldn't put words together he's like I mean uh, uh, he's trying to come up with his jokes but his jokes are falling flat as they do all the time and uh, he just can't get it out. Be and the reason why he can't get it out is because what he's talking about is absolute bullshit. That's why. See, if he can get it out, and if it were real, he can get it out. 
See, like that guy, the JFK guy, that's a white guy. I don't, he, he may have showed up in the chat room last night or on my last video, Masters Pimping Their Slaves. I think that Fiore guy, that could have been him because I never saw that person in the chat before. His comment was, who's pimping who? Now, or something something to that effect. And I asked him, what do you mean by that? What's your point? Never responded. So, you know, uh, I, I mean, the guy, he basically backed down without backing down, without saying it explicitly. See, I, I don't like cowards. If you got something to say, and you want to tell me this is the word. This is the final word on whatever it is you're talking about. Get it out. Present it. If you can't present it, then you must be bullshitting. Whether it's JFK, whether it's a, a, a campaign in Mississippi, whether it's a Pan-African uh, bullshit. Oh, that's another thing I want to say, too. It's funny how two bozos try to diss me. With their two-person viewership, <laughs> and uh, I was one of them. <laughs> but then they go try to swipe all my uh, fucking talking points that I I say from my previous uh, last couple of videos. I said, and that's what I told you. That's what this guy's been doing for years and years and years. Now he got his buddy, his wine old buddy, doing it. They don't have any talking points, especially the wino. The wino, hate to say it, and I ain't trying to be insulting. I'm just trying to be flat out for real. The wino is a total dimwit. because Probably because he's a wino, he could have been a dimwit before we started doing coke and, 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 and drinking and smoking weed. You know, you combine all that, that's, a bad, that's bad news. But you got enablers who want to control people. So, you know, they might tell them, hey, man, it's bad. You know, you shouldn't be drinking and smoking and all that. But, you know, here's some money to help you out. Because I need a hoe. Even though you should be paying me, I'll pay you. <laughs> but they take my talking points. I mean, they're wishy-washy all over the place. Flip-flopping like crazy. Talking about paying Africans. Then they talk about apples. Then they talk about pro blacks, and then talk about the white man. I mean, they need to make up their goddamn minds where they stand. They don't stand nowhere, and they're not doing nothing because they can't even think. These people are so fucking dim with it. It ain't, it ain't funny. At least the other guy he can get uh, convince some people because he'll he'll sound like he's talking about something at times until he starts talking in circles again and he can't help it that's that's a part of the insanity and he might be slick to the feeble minded but even after a while they'll say you know what this guy keeps repeating the same old excitable phrases and then he contradicts himself with everything he's talking about. When he was on that show, the host tried to ask him a few questions to get a little spe more specific. He kept jumping and, and tumbling over his words because he was like, damn, I can't think of a lie fast enough. So he started Making up whatever it came out of his mouth. See, when you fucking real, you're not going to trip. That's why when it comes to debates, that's why people can't deal with me because I'm not coming with no bullshit. But when you come with chores, I'm laying that out. But with this campaign, all I ever wanted to do was 
ask questions about how this can be. And what needs to be done in order to get people involved. Instead, he has no answer. He just says, you get started. I'm not your hero. I'm not your savior. Well, if you're not the hero, you're not the savior. Shut the fuck up about it. Because obviously nobody is setting it off. If it ain't good enough for you, it ain't good enough for nobody else. <laughs> so, I mean, just shut up about it. That's all That's all I ask. You know, you, you already admitted you're not doing it. Then the other excuse is you, you, you're too old. Oh, man, I'm 58 years old. I'm too old for this stuff. That's why the host was laughing when he, man, the fuck? This man act like he's 80 years old and shit. Trying to play the age card. He's 58 years old. He ain't even fucking retirement age. And you talking about I'm too old for this shit. The fuck is wrong with this guy? Some people are something else. <laughs> Got excuse after excuse after say, oh yeah, I'm about to die. Well, if you're about to die, why don't you go do a bucket list and shut the fuck up? How about that? The fuck you won't waste your last days for going back and forth on YouTube trying to act like you uh, doing something extraordinary when you're not even doing it. If you set it off. So I told this guy this before. I said, if you set it off, people will follow. But when you are not setting it off and you're telling people it's good for you, it's the best thing for you. They're thinking, well, if it ain't good enough for you, it can't be good enough for me. That's common sense. But we'll see. Even though this wasn't really about him per se, but he was talking shit too, as usual. And uh, he's lucky. Nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. But I say this. Um, I let the wino slide a little bit because I did mention the wino. By name and the, I think it was the Roach, and, Roach uh, Protector Meatball video. So, I'll give him a credit on that one. But at the same time, my whole point with him is he's wishy-washy. He can't be trusted. <clears throat> Just like your typical crack fiend in your neighborhood. You can't trust them. Whatever drug addict, whatever kind of drug addict it is, you can't trust him. And he exhibits that behavior. That's why I can't rock with people like that. Those are just people I just, they're just outright despicable. And you know what happens in the hood with people like that when they constantly bullshitting. <laughs> So, the funny guy, thing is, the guy puts on a fucking mask. The mask comes off. We see his ugly face. And then he keeps putting it on. Like, oh, man, let me put my mask back on. I hope they didn't see me. This guy's a fucking whacked out maniac. And the other thing I just can't understand, people making YouTube videos, wasting your time, two hours out of a day, hour, whatever it takes, Make the video, then you take it down. I really don't understand that. Maybe it's not meant for anybody else to understand it but him. And maybe he doesn't understand it. But don't make the video. So, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I just don't get it. That's the one thing I can say about the other guy, at least... 99% of the time when he makes a video, goddammit, it, it sticks. <laughs> you know, and you can see no matter who he's buddies with or pretending to be buddies with this time. He'll put the goddamn video, the disc videos back up there. <laughs> I, I mean, that's the one thing I can say about him. He'll put his videos up there and they stay up. He's not he's not known for taking that shit down. So at least with him, if you want to go back and look at an old video, you know, that shit is going to be up there. So in that sense, I can respect them in that sense. But this the other guy is a total opposite. He wants to, he, I mean, the guy got his air traffic controller uh, equipment on. 
making his videos and shit. And then it's like, I, I guess he has to make them in a car. Now I know what you're saying. Don't you make yours in the car? But see, you could tell when it's these kind of videos, it's usually in the car. When it's live or if the sound sounds better, then that's when you know it's in the house. But I guess some people, all they got is their phone for their communications. But I think he got a house set up too, though. But I don't know. Maybe something is... Well, I guess he had to do his drugs in the car. I guess that's probably what it was. Probably didn't want nobody to see him. Even though I'm sure that they know that the man stays high all day. But or maybe he sold that equipment because he needed to get high. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it, I, I just don't get it. People live their lives how they live it. I can't tell people, how, uh, grown adults, how to live. Uh, it's up to them. But I know this. You can't be talking about black power while being a wino, a weed head and a coke head. Who else knows what else he's into? You can't keep talking about my people, what they did to my people. And talking about our people while being Jamaican. How does that work? If people are curious, that's when I first started. It was about 10 years ago, actually. I first started talking about Caribbeans, primarily the Jamaicans, because I would notice that whether they're in the UK, Canada, hell, even some of the Guyanese, who are supposed to be like the Jamaicans' uh, <laughs> brothers, I guess, you know, since they sound similar, I guess, I notice how they would always keep talking about us, our, we, co opting our history. I would say to myself, I mean, the nerve of these motherfuckers keep talking about us, our. But then when we, well, not we, those Pan-Africans try to say us and our, then they put limitations on how much of ours is ours, <laughs> you know? And of course, the new thing, they're doubling down on we created the hip hop. Matter of fact, I, I got to get that shit out. I'm getting tired of these people. Because I could tell, I'm, I'm going to illustrate the links of how they didn't. Not how they didn't, how they could not have. I'll give you a little hint right now. As you know, Jamaicans love going to the white man's countries. The US, UK, and Canada, primarily. I wouldn't be surprised if, if you found them in Australia, New Zealand, probably in Russia too. They spread around for a tiny ass island. I got to give them that. <laughs> I mean, you look at Jamaica on a map, it is tiny. Surrounded by, guess what? So-called Latino nations. How come they don't bug the hell out of them for being... African. But you could tell what the deal is because where was the hip hop in London? Where's the hip hop in Canada? If they created it, why did they have to come to New York? Huh? If you created it and you came from Jamaica and it was a Jamaican thing, where is it at in Jamaica? See, here's the key thing. If it was a Jamaican thing already in Jamaica, watch Tariq Nashi steal this, but I don't mind if he does. <laughs> I don't mind if anybody does. Spread the shit around. If it was a Jamaican thing already in Jamaica, how come it didn't get started 
in London? Why not in Toronto? Why only in New York? Where we're at? Huh? Matter of fact, I'll go one step further. It should have started in Jamaica. Number one. London, number two. Number three, it should have been imported here. But instead, it was created here. That does not compute. Because they're lying. That's why. Jamaican culture is unmistakable. Even though a lot of the shit is East Indian influence and some Chinese influence. And they hate to admit that. Because they got to keep up that Pan-African bullshit. That's why I keep trying to tell people the realities of these peoples. And when I say these peoples, I'm not just talking about Jamaicans. I'm talking about Africans too. The realities of Africa. Now, people starting to wake up to the realities of Africa. And that Africa is not the way these Pan-Africans painted out to be. And this is good. Again, Pan-Africans always call me hating. It's not hating. It's showing you the real deal because it proves that you people are lying. And your agents. Pan-Africanism and Jamaicans go hand in hand. Every time a uh, Jamaican says something or a Caribbean says something, the Pan-Africans just try to flow with it. Because that's supposed to be their so-called African people. As far as I'm concerned, if we're all African and everybody in the Western Hemisphere was taken as slaves, then God damn it, we're weak as fuck. How are you going to have a few people knock you over the head and take so many of you over as slaves? And you ain't, I ain't about to get into that shit again. That's been proven back and forth, up and down, to the point that these people are desperate. That's why they got everybody out there trying to uh, dial it back. <laughs> and then you got the bigger names on YouTube taking a little bit of my arguments. And they won't, they never want to say nobody's name. See, now what I don't want to say certain people's names because they're fucking jackasses. That's why. And people don't need to hear these people. And that's all they're looking for is fucking views any goddamn way. But you can't get no fucking views if you keep taking your goddamn videos down as soon as you make them. The fuck kind of sense does that make? <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't get it. But some people, names I won't say, they just refer to people as some guy. I said, you see, that's the same shit. Well, Tariq Nashi doesn't even do that. He doesn't even call anybody. He doesn't even say that he got it from some guy. He he just fucking steals it outright. <laughs> that's what he does. So, <laughs> and he doesn't know what he's talking about. I told people he doesn't know what he's talking about. Somebody made a video and showing that you know, a little debate with the white people. That Tariq Nashi just steals what sounds good and makes him good and makes makes him money. But when confronted with shit, he can explain it to the weed smoking dimwit. But to the people who know what the fuck they're talking about, or who are just smart on other topics, he can't pull that shit on them. But you know, the, this hip-hop thing, because people are waking up and saying, you didn't create no goddamn hip-hop. Now they all want to say, oh, yes, we did. It's our. Talking about toasting. I give Tariq Nashi one piece of credit when he had that Jamaican guy on and he was asking him, what elements of hip-hop did you create in Jamaica? And the guy had a hard time answering. 
And they always say toasting. Where do you think they got that from? I mean, the fuck, man? He, I mean, when did Jamaica even get a fucking turntable? <laughs> the fucking DJ the first time. Was it in the 1950s? 60s? Come on. The fuck? They don't do nothing. All they do is steal music. <laughs> and put a Jamaican accent and a reggae beat to it. And then they say, this is this is our music. That's all they do. They got the Bob Marley. You know, white people love Bob Marley. Starting to wonder if it's because he's had weight. No, I don't know. But they love some Bob Marley. That ain't hip hop. Anyway, I'll try to get into that in the future, but the nerve of people. And the nerve of these pan Africans. I'm getting tired of them, but I'm glad people are on the attack. See, when you start questioning these people, all they can do is come back with insults. They can't tell you nothing. And they always tell you to take a DNA test. And you got Umar Johnson. Take a DNA test. That'll solve all your problems. I think Tyron gave me a link. I put it in my uh, one of those things, social medias where it said that what I've been telling you, man, they're trying to keep a database of DNA. I mean, come on. It's a vanilla sky type of shit going on. Keep a database of DNA. That's why these coon agents keep trying to tell you to take a DNA test. You should take one. That'll tell you everything about yourself. Okay, now that you Negroes know, supposedly know what you what your people are all about, go find them. Can you find them? Can you find your relatives? Of course you can. So I'm getting to the point now. I want Umar Johnson one on one. Or anybody who claims to be the chief pan Africanist. One on one. See that guy with the campaign. He can't take on these people because he is a fraud, a phony, and he has no truth to him. I remember on somebody else's channel, he took on a, a, a guy. That was the only time I, I saw him debate. Then he quickly backed the fucker out because he realized, God damn it, this guy is too much. He tried debating him on blackness and all that kind of stuff because he denied. He hates blackness. He hates the so-called abos. He hates Pan-African. He hates every goddamn thing. Except the white man, of course. That's what you never hear him talking about. He hates. Once that guy was getting deep, that guy said, oh, I had enough of this. Can't take the heat. He says he's no leader. He's right. That's why he ain't leading you to Mississippi. He wants you to go. I just want you to shut up about it. If you can't lead. Matter of fact, I ain't trying to stretch this shit out because I just want to make my little point. On the wino and his mate. And <laughs> matter of fact, maybe I should call that the video of that. <laughs> the wino and his mate. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> and just just let it be known. He'll take it as a diss. Because his mind is so... Uh, technically it is, but, I'm, but it's not really supposed to be. But <laughs> his mind is so... Out of control or, or or in another world that he, you know he can't think but anyway that's enough <laughs>